Good afternoon, Drew here. I'm here to report a software issue. I believe the source of the issue is in um, FS Tools, but it affects the programming of a panel uh, when you when you transfer a program file uh, through a thumb drive. So here, I'm just going to record this with my phone. I don't have an easy way to switch back and forth between the phone and the desktop. So 3.0205, it's the latest one. I, as far as I can tell, this problem, well, definitely, it has only showed up with this newest version of the software because we've been doing what I'm about to show you for a long time, and it's worked fine for over 400 panels. But um, now it's a problem. So I just freshly installed this copy of FS Tools on this laptop because I just wanted to make sure it wasn't anything we were doing, anything about our configuration. So it's a fresh copy, default installation, no no changes, version 3.02.05. Okay, so I can get my mouse to work. There we go. So I'm just going to create a new file real quick. Test user customer test customer and this actually the panel I have here set up next to me here is an FS50 ES50 sorry uh, so going 50 point addressable save this customer save the customer database so I'm going to configure this customer using the factory default Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and create a point. Add device. Let's call it address one. So we just create, added a, we're adding a point. Add a point. So what we do a lot of is we like to use this user defined 11 because user defined 11 is the same as the tamper here. And I don't know if this is right or not. I think maybe it is. There is no user defined four up here, but maybe that's been that way. I just set my noticed in looking at this. So tamper user defined 11 because we want to have the same functionality as the tamper. So Basically, we want to have something that is a a um, auto restoring supervisory that trips the supervisory relay. We want it to trip the supervisory relay right here, and you can set the panel on. You can set that relay to supervisory AR and and use type supervisory AR over here. But this has been a, this has been an issue for, with us for a long time, so that's why we just don't use supervisory AR. So you could come in here and use supervisory AR. So if you use supervisory, now it trips the relay. If you use supervisory AR, it does not. So there's no way, unfortunately, to get both of these to trip that relay. And there really should be. It should be that you could have a programming file set up where you've used the tamper type, the supervisory type, and the supervisory AR type all in one file, and they all three trip that relay, but they don't. By default, with the relay set as type supervisory, the tamper and the supervisory trip, but the supervisory AR does not, not activate that relay. If you switch it to supervisory AR, it activates the supervisory AR condition, but not supervisory and tamper. So that's so that's why we use this, because we want to have a supervisory AR type condition, but we don't want it to say tamper. So we use user defined 11. And it, what we use this for a lot is a, a low temperature. So let's say, we usually say sprinkler room or something like that. B R I N K room sprink room so there we go sprinkler room and then the custom label is low temp 
low temp. So now you can see that tamper sprink room is in user defined 11. User defined 11. Okay, so we're gonna leave that. Sprinkler room, low temp. Okay, we've added a point. Now we, we could put a temperature sensor on that on that monitor module right there, and it should basically be an auto restoring supervisory that this has worked for hundreds of panels on all of the previous versions of this software. So we're gonna save to database, yes. Okay. Turn to main screen, upload, download, transfer configuration to thumb drive. Whoops, what did I do? Oh yeah, one point. So this panel happens to be on uh, 010208 firmware. And I think if we're on 0103006, 0 it's the same because that's where I was at the other day when I discovered this. So we're going to say 1.2. Okay, I have a thumb drive in the computer. Save. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we've written that file now. I'm going to pull out the thumb drive. Got the thumb drive. So I'm going to go to this panel. So before I did this before, I, I completely um, deleted the, the, the programming in here. I went in basically programming mode. Um, I went down here and I said clear program and I just did the whole system. I already did that. I'm not going to do it again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the thumb drive and I'm going to do menu programming. Oops, I'm sorry. F, uh, USB upload download. Two, 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 two. two. Download, FS50 config, yes. It's transferring the programming that we created, including our user-defined 11 custom file over in FS tools. Of course, it's gonna take it a couple minutes. I'm pretty sure it's going to take it a minute or two to configure the SLC loop as well. All right, copied it over. All right, we're done with the thumb drive. We can take it out. The problem is when that gets loaded in there, it's not right. So I'm going to show you. It ends up on the screen saying that it's user defined 12 which is very strange. And I don't know, I don't know why it's doing this. I, it, it's weird that a software change over here is somehow, uh, you know, I guess the software over here, if it gets transferred in wrong, that affects that. I would think that on the screen, it would um, it would be kind of hard coded into the firmware for those types, but maybe not, because I'll show you two things about this that are very interesting. One, one, you know what happens to the to the file that we transferred in here, and then the point that we transferred in, and then and then what happens when we add a point and just select that type manually now with 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 the, the, the keypad here should be getting there there's one point in this programming file but it still takes its sweet time but this has got to get fixed like super pronto I mean we are relying upon this on a regular basis. I think for the time being, we're gonna to have to figure out maybe how to downgrade. Oh yeah, see the module's not there. Look right away, it's telling us right away. User defined 12. That's that's not what I put on this file. 
I put down user defined 11 and I changed the name of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't have any points connected to this panel, so of course it's invalid reply. So let's go in programming, menu, programming, zero, 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 zero. We're just going to go into point program. We're going to add one, one add, oh, oh, two. Okay, that's a monitor. Okay, modules added. So we're going to go back and we're going to do edit. Well, let's look at one first. So we can look at one. Yeah, user defined 12. Why is it user defined 12? That doesn't make any sense. So let's go to the next one. So we'll go over. Here's the one we created. We're going to go ahead and edit the type. Type monitor. So we're going to go down until we define, find user defined. 11. So okay, I'm going to go up a screen first. Tamper. That's the, this, the operation I want. So one below it says user defined 11. I feel like it used to say it on the screen when I would, when I would define the custom type in here, it would actually, maybe not, but let's just, I feel like it did. It actually showed it in this menu, but let's select user type defined 11. Now, just to be clear, I'm pressing one, one, what the heck is going on here? Type, user defined 12. That's not the button I pushed. To make it even stranger, I did notice this too. So let's say I come back in here now. And I come down here. And I push. Okay. Let's say I wanted to use user defined 12 now. That's button 3. User defined 12. Button three. What the heck? User defined 13. It's like they're off by a line. It's off by a line. So that's, that's partially why when I came in here previously on the software side, I looked at this and I, and I just had never noticed it before. Maybe this has no bearing. Maybe it does. But I noticed... When I was in here before, if I edit this line, there's no four. So does that mean it's like there's something missing here? This one should be four in the software, five. Well, but then down here, it does have the right label in the right place. Tamper, sprinkler room. But this up here doesn't show it at all. So let's see what happens if I, I select 10. Maybe 10 will show my label. Whoops, oh, oh, two. Let's go back into two, that's fine. Here's your define 13. So let's select module. Uh, user defined nine. User defined 10, which is should be like type phone right there. User defined 10, button two. Let's see what it does. Oh! It says sprinkler room, sprinkler room. So that's that's what I want, but I'm really concerned now. If I select that, what is it doing? Is it gonna do this phone, like it says under user defined 10, which is the button that I pushed? Or is it gonna do tamper? Because when I push tamper, which is one here, the one like right under tamper is 11. Yeah, it says 12. So this is clearly something that I have no confidence in at the moment. You gotta get this fixed. That's it, that's, that's, a, that's a, some kind of a software bug between these two devices. Very, very important that this gets rectified because this is, this is important stuff. Anyway, please let me know any comments, but that should be easily replicatable. Thank you. Bye-bye.